Let's get you, gang. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode on the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the blueberry. I haven't yeah. talked about it in a while because it's been missing. It's been an innovative get the brand new rear mount done. And I'm still not sure if I'm able to divulge any information on what's going on with the rear mount, but they want me to do a couple tests on it, like a launch and uh, a pull to see if the mount flexes or if anything feels weird or anything because they kind of just designed it. They put it in the car and they're like, here, we need you to go test it. So as far as the situation with the car right now, I don't own the car anymore. Uh, it does belong to someone else. I sold it, but it's still going to be here um on the channel for a while there will be a build on it um where i do a css block piston the rod setup and a spring retainer head in it the transmission is still going to remain stock and uh, we're still going to retain the twin disc the drive shaft shop axles and the stuff like that so what i want to go over first is how much it actually cost me to build a car because uh, a lot of people honestly don't believe me that it cost six thousand dollars to build a car so i did a lot of bartering and um willing and dealing to get uh what i got done to a car which i believe anybody who has knowledge and skill to build one of these cars can do it uh for the same amount if not probably like a thousand dollars more than what i got into it so we're going to talk about the motor the drive line everything from front to back and then uh we're going to try to launch the car on the street hopefully we don't whoa. break anything whoa whoa and, whoa uh, <laughs> little, little, little dicey there and uh we are also going to uh, do like a little two, three, four hit on the street. All right, so we got to start from the motor to the turbo kit to the drive line and what's going on in the rear end. All right, so we got a bone stock K20A2 here. The motor probably has like 170,000 miles on it. Um, I got it uh, in a trade for a tune really so i got 450 bucks in the motor um well a tune and to like fab up some charge piping so you can account for time gas in the tune uh so Probably 550. i have 550 600 bucks in the motor um intake manifold i got it for 350 bucks uh nice, nice little yeah mp boosted intake manifold it came with the throttle body I had a map sensor laying around from a transmission. Is that a Honda one? Yeah, it's a Honda map sensor. Okay. okay. I had a map sensor laying around from a transmission that I bought, and it came with some extra shit like this boost controller. Um, so I got the boost controller and the map sensor pretty much for free. I paid uh, 400 bucks for the transmission. It was an LSD transmission, but it was it was a part. So I put it together, um, and I put it in this car when it was front wheel drive initially. And then I got a deal on a all-wheel drive transmission for $700. And I sold the front-wheel drive LSD transmission for $700. And uh, I picked this trans up. So I have no money in the transmission, really. The twin disc I already had, um, which it's an action twin disc. Um, I got it used from somebody for like 600 from Stumpy. For 650 bucks. Shout out um, to Colt 45. Yeah, shout out to Colt 45. And uh, uh, we bought new discs for it, so we paid two. That's the one that came out of Heavy Flow, yeah, isn't it? Heavy Flow had the clutch in it. Okay. Um, uh, and mind you, this shit is aggressive. No, yeah. yeah <laughs> the clutch is. The clutch is super aggressive. Um, I have to say, co uh, competition clutch is less aggressive on engagement than action clutches. Um, but as far as like street ability, they're the same. Um, but we bought new discs for the clutch. They were like 200 bucks. So we got 800 bucks in the clutch. Um, I got this manifold off of eBay. It was a scratch and dent manifold. Oh, I paid $450 for it. The VS Racing Turbo. I what paid, size is that one? It's a 67.62. Um, I paid $550 for it. Um, and uh, I got that on a deal off of somebody that bought it and uh, they weren't going to use it. And I just picked it up for basically whatever they paid for it. Uh, well, $50 under what they paid Man, for I it. I hope I didn't show the rear mount in that. <clears throat> no. Um, it's got, it had, came with a 44 gate flange. I put a 50 uh, millimeter gate flange on it. The gate was uh, 50 bucks. I mean, the gate was $100 from VX Racing. Um, it's got a G Plus radiator from Amazon. It was like $80. 
Uh, it's all, got all eBay piping, couplers, the blow valves, eBay. The, uh, so that's not a VSR blow valve? No, that's not a VSR oh, blow okay. valve. Uh, it's got... Um, what wastegate's on there? Yeah, I already talked about the wastegate. Oh, gate. shit, my bad. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's got uh, eBay fuel pressure regulator, eBay lines. Uh, that fuel rail came with the manifold. The injectors I bought off of Stumpy for 200 bucks. They're dish works, uh, 1300s. The mounts, you can use eBay mounts and use a Hasport rear T bracket. So you can have about 300 bucks in mounts. You just have to shop around, know what you're doing. So the mount is technically, the Hasport's all wheel drive mount is technically a 13 to 14, a 13 to 15 Civic SI uh, transmission. I guess if you're gonna put a 13 to 15 transmission in a swap car, you'll buy that T bracket. They also work on all wheel drive transmissions also. So you can get that mount, it's like, $90 on eBay and before um, I had a 24 in here the 24 blew a head gasket I took the 24 out I got the deal on the 20 and uh, when we designed the first mount from Innovative it used uh, 24 mountain spot so on the 24 there's two holes in the back that the stock uh, the stock motor mount bolts to and we utilize those holes not knowing that the 20 doesn't have those holes so that's why we redesigned the mount um, but it's got the new innovative mount there. I did get uh, innovative gave me the mounts and the rear uh, diff kit for letting them use the car to design the mount. So you can factor in uh, those prices of the rear diff kit with the rear diff kits 550 and the mounts if you were to buy them from innovative or if you were to use eBay mounts because that's what I had in here before. I used eBay mounts before, so you can factor in that 300 bucks. I don't know who's tallying this up right now, but somebody I just keep out there prices is. prices in there. All right, but um, let's so see. in motor setup, how much would you say just in like the motor and transmission setup? I have you said six, like 650, 650 in the motor, 400, 1300 bucks. Is that 1300 bucks? What 650 and 700? Yeah, that's 1300 bucks. Yeah, 1300. Yeah, it's like 1300 dollars I have in the motor and the transmission side. And then how much is the clutch like? The clutch is a you can call the clutch if you get it used a thousand. Thousand dollars and yeah. then turbo kit. You can kit. get it used for like 800 bucks. That's what I got in it. 800 bucks. And then the turbo kit. So you got what like? And I traded a stock a OEM uh, idler pulley for this K21. So, so you're at 21 it. for. No motor, motor transit clutch. Motor transit clutch. And then how much was it? The, the turbo kit, um, downpipe of scrap metal I had. The turbo yeah, we, was five, we can tell. Yeah. The turbo was <laughs> the turbo was five fifty. The manifold was four hundred and fifty bucks. And you had piping laying around. And I had piping laying around. That scrap metal piping too. The intercooler was a hundred dollars. So and um So let's just call it even way. thousand at the turbo and bought on the turbo manifold, manifold and then 1100 for and then 100 for the fucking intercooler. So it's all 1200 bucks for the yeah. valve and yeah. the pipe. It, all right. Yeah. Because you so, can get this piping, you can get a whole piping kit off of eBay. You just got to wait two weeks for it to come. So we're like 33, 30, 400 bucks right now. Yeah, 33, 30, 400 bucks. All right. Okay. So then you go to the rear. You, know, you want um, you want to throw in the wheels too, the fucking tires and everything. I think I spent like 400 bucks. Yeah, I think you got those off of the car stumpy bought. Yeah, I got all four on there bucks with the nittles on them. Uh. The rear end, I spent a hundred and seventy-five dollars on that. I think. You want me to lay down? Want me to lay down there? Huh? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I got there. you. I got you. Damn, look, look at this beast right here. That literally just broke on me the other day <laughs> as I'm pulling it in. Yeah. So it's got an innovative. It's got innovative rear diff mount kit. It's got eBay lower control arms with S1 built shock relocation brackets. It's got. Uh, what the hell are those axles? Part store axles. They're like fifty-six dollars a piece. Are those like a CRV driver size? Yes, both. both they're both CRV driver axles. The trailing arms are custom, but we're trying to we're gonna redo these because um, they we can't get the alignment right on them for some reason. They stick the wheel out too far. So we're gonna. So I have that other all-wheel drive car at my shop right now that I'm helping my buddy Frampton do. do. He works at Drive Shaft Shop. He designed the control arms. He designed the ones that are on his own. It's basically an S1 uh, DIY kit, but he just made, he just figured out what hubs they use. Welcome to Fayetteville. He just figured out what hubs they use, which are like uh, O1 inside hubs, and uh, he modified a set of uh, Integra rear trailing arm to make them work. These are Integra rear trailing arms. 
but uh, he made a barrel that you bolt the hub into uh, and it worked great but I think it just throws the geometry of the uh, the suspension off because we can't get the toe right so right now it drives really weird but it pulls straight when you're when you're in the pool but um the car isn't aligned also because when i changed the rack i never aligned the car i will say last night when we did the pool it did go straight it during the pool straight, but, when but you, it's when, trying to like yeah when you're driving it's it, it like it's off but i never aligned the car either but as far as the drive shaft it's got a freelander vistas couple which i got from the uh the junk car for 58 dollars uh like i said before frank works at drive shaft shop I pretty much traded him a tune and get his car straight, uh, which is like, I bought a wire harness for his car. Well, two wire harnesses for his car because whoever had his car before, they completely fucked his wire harness. And I had to damn change the entire cabin harness and the dash harness. Yeah, that shit was pretty So beat. I spent like $350 on the, the dash and cabin harness. You can factor in the tune, which is, a, and his car's on AM, so that's 500 bucks. So I got a $750 drive shaft in here that I traded out for labor. Um, it's on uh, Honda V4, which I got from you, which was like what? I think eight. Bucks? I think I sold it to you for eight. Yeah, for like well, eight no, bucks. it was like five and some well, six hundred yeah, bucks and some and other some, shit. Some other shit, yeah. But yeah. you can get V4 now for like thousand bucks. So, yeah. but I'm talking about like what I spent. As far as the fuel system, I got a seven gallon uh, eBay so, pop, fuel. Pop, yeah, pop, pop, pop the hat. Pop the trunk. So, so in like drive shaft, uh, trailing arms, and rear mount and shit like that. Like, how much you think you got in like all the, like, the drive shaft shit and like the rear end shit? Um, if you get the same 1310 U-joint shit that I got, you're gonna spend 750 on it. No, I'm saying how much you got in it. Uh, how much do I have in it? Yeah, we're, we're adding up how much we you got in this 300 car. 300 bucks in that, for, 350 bucks. For what, in the drive shaft yeah. or like everything? Well, for like four or 500 bucks. And everything back there? No, with the, just the drive shaft. Okay, so 500 bucks for the drive shaft. I paid $58 for the business couple from the junkyard. So you got lucky on that and um, yeah. To get Fram to do the drive shaft, I had to buy his harnesses and shit. And so. so you got five hundred and nine. How much from like you got in the rear trailing arms and the uh, diff mount shit? Trailing arms, I paid one hundred twenty-five dollars for the hubs off of Amazon. So you're like six twenty-five. Yeah. yeah, and then I paid one hundred fifty bucks for the trailing arms. So was that seven seventy-five? Yeah. Plus the thirty-four hundred. And the S one brackets were one hundred fifty bucks. So like, so like we'll just say even nine. Yeah. So. So uh, nine and thirty-five is what fucking forty-four. Yeah. So 44 and then we got a hundred dollar fuel cell in here which i had from my g35 but i uh, don't mind the wiring yeah. that's some sub shit that was in here before i kind of just threw this car together and i never cleaned anything up this was like low-key another joke car yeah it's low-key another joke car see how cheap i can do an all-wheel drive setup for because everybody's like oh you need to spend 14 to 15 thousand dollars to do a fucking all-wheel drive car which is really honestly retarded like if you if you, you can spend half that if you have mechanical skill and you have a vision like you can get some shit done like people some fucking asshole called my uh my trailing arms uh poverty arms which i think is funny it's hilarious it's actually pretty but pretty catchy this shit runs this shit's still at another shop he's spelling like 30 40 grand which on his car i'm not gonna say no, 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 I'm no. saying. It's been at two shops now. Actually, it's been at one shop, then it went to another shop, then it went back to the same shop that he fell out with, which is Work, retarded to me. Working backwards. It's fucking backwards. And if anyway. you step work like that, I mean, obviously, you just fucking care about dollar signs. So, anyway. so what are we at, like 45, 4,600? So 4,500 right now. If you want to count the car, I think, what? The, oh, I traded Stumpy this car. Oh, shit, my daily for I, this. I bought this car for $1,000. And I traded the stumpy for this car with all the case swap shit. That's the wire harness, the swap harness. It had a shifter box, the shifter cables, and the shifter cables. And didn't it come with the 24 that was in and it, though? The eBay mounts. Yeah, and it came with a 24, too. No, no, no. I bought that Tony. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I bought the 24. It came with a transmission. Yep. So, and I sold that transmission of all nuts. All it came with a 20. I yeah, it came 20. with a 20 and sold it. Yeah, I sold it. Because you were putting a 24 in it. And I was going to put a 24 in it because I was going to kept the 20. Do, yeah, I know. I didn't, I didn't think I was going to go all the drive with the car. But anyway, all that money ended up transferring back into a damn chassis. Yeah. Anyway, so, so we're at what, like five grand right now? Yeah, five I guess. grand. Yeah. Well, how much? How much would you say you got? Well, you said a thousand, so we'll call it six. Yeah. So yeah, like six grand. Yeah, six grand. In literally a car that we I drove. I tuned the car myself. I built everything on it besides the drive shaft and the control arms. Um, I was gonna do a. I was gonna do a DIY budget uh, rear trailing arm, not the rear trailing arm, but rear diff mount kit, but uh, like on Framp's car. Yeah. 
But uh, I ended up getting the offer from Innovative for them to use my car today and do the rear diff mount. The rear diff mount and the rear, rear, mount. rear transmission mount. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I... I don't understand how people are out here spending 15, 16 grand doing these damn cars. I might get I it mean, if you got the money and, you know, you don't the, have any kind of like... Yeah, I mean, if you have the money and you want to build a car, but you don't know where to start, I mean... Or if I you just this, don't know how to build yeah, a car. Yeah, I hope this video will help some people out on, like, trying to get into, like, where to start to start building a car because it's very achievable. I mean, you don't have to use a bunch of aftermarket shit. You can use stock shit. I mean, people were building all-wheel drive cars back in, like, the early 2000s, like, 99. But they were like cutting out the rear subframe yeah. and shit making their own subframe. Like now there's subframe mounts. If you know how to like fabricate two brackets to make the damn subframe, you can just weld that shit in and make a permanent mount that stays in the car that doesn't unbolt. Because I mean, once you go all wheel drive, like you're not going back front wheel drive. Like if you have the know how and the background to yeah, build the, the shit, you can do it for cheaper than 10. Cheaper. But yeah, I mean, I welded and pinned the diff by looking at damn uh, um, Hunter Tunes video on how to do it when he did it to his CRV diff. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not hard. Just a little bit of research and yeah, just a little, confidence. All you have to do is do research, man. And it's crazy. Like, there's so much information out there. And so many people have done it, but they're like, oh, well, if you don't spend this amount of money, you're never going to fucking do it. It has to be S1 to, bill yeah, or F to, FCS. You have to spend, like, you have to, like, ball out on the shit. Like, like there's motherfuckers on K28 right, that have 10 car, grand and they're don't even a motor. Pounds, this car's on 20 pounds. It's on 1,300cc injectors. It's got two eBay fuel pumps in the fucking back. Like eBay fifty dollars a piece, yeah. and this car does not skip. This a car got most pluses on it, huh? This car got most pluses on it. It's got most pluses on it. Oh shit! It. It's got two most pluses. It's got eBay, Amazon fuel filters, eBay, Amazon fuel lines. Like this car has been sitting for three months. It has a fucking ran. You can take the line, and it's still soft. Like I've had vibrant line that's been tough as shit when you touch it. So I mean, I don't know how people are out here spending all this damn money. I mean, the car looks like shit, but I'm having fun with it. It looks like shit, but it does not run yeah, like shit. It doesn't shit. run like shit. So I mean, and, that, that, and you've got six it. grand in this car, and you've literally had, ran into what? Two issues with it? Yeah. With much. breaking the fucking axle in the back? Yeah, I broke an axle. Damn. Oh, I broke the diff in the axle. Yeah, diff in the axle, yeah, and I think, I think that's that it, right? Diff was like some weird shit because it had like a plate in the clutch pack that I've never seen in anybody else's clutch pack. But that was like the only two problems you had. Yeah, only two only things, things you broke. I haven't had no transmission, no motor problems, no turbo problems, no turbo kit problems. Um, I've had an ECU problem. Yeah, that is my true. My dad stopped fucking damn taking a tune. Yeah. But thank God I had mine with me that day. Yeah, thank God you had yours with you that day. And um, that was it. I drove it to Darlington. Two I hours. Made three hits. Yeah, I drove it two hours. Made made three or four hits. Raced it back basically. We were and trying to figure it out at the track. Yeah, I mean, it didn't run the best time, but it didn't run the best time. But I mean, shit, I had fun. Still there, bro. I'm not out here to try to like go the fucking fast. I'm out here to try to enjoy my damn life. Now, I if you want to go like nines or tens or eights or something, yeah, I'm, you're I'm, gonna have to spend maybe a, not. Nah, you don't have to spend more money, have but to spend more money. I mean, the car can literally do it. I mean, I got. For as little money as I, I have in it, like I know the car can go like a low ten. I just I haven't had time I, yeah. to figure it out. Like I got four kids, I got a business to run. I haven't even had the want payroll. to do it. Huh? I haven't even had the want to do it. And did you say something about payroll? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I haven't had the want to do it. I yeah, mean, it's a fun I street enjoy car. This car driving it on the street more, racing it on the street than I do at the track. And not to say that I'm afraid that it's gonna break at the track because it didn't break at the track. I just enjoy it more as a street car than as I do a And also, car. if you have a Hellcat, if you have a Hellcat in the Fayetteville area, please hit us <laughs> up. Yeah. <laughs> We're looking for one. So, yeah, I mean, I, I enjoy I built it as a street car. I didn't build it as a car to go damn race at the track. Like, yeah. everybody knows me knows I enjoy street shit more than I do the track shit. I have a track car. I have a five-second car that's going to go fucking faster. Like, the fuck do I need to build a five-second damn all-wheel drive car for? What you need? I mean, well, why? I mean, I mean it sounds fun. I mean, you gotta spend like forty grand doing that shit. Yeah. Who the fuck's got? Who puts forty grand into a Civic? Like it's a fucking Civic, bro. Like, I mean, there are Kano shit box. You put a turbo kit on it, and you fucking go like your fucking local car. Me, you hit two step, and you fucking drive around, and that's it. But I'm not. And you outrun every fucking Civic that pulls up next to you. Yeah, like my car, like the G35, easily convertible back to a fucking street car, like. Not worth it. Not worth it. I mean, it's an eight second. Like that car's an eight second street car, like. Fuck do I need an eight second Civic for? Like, oh, I got a fast ass Civic. Who cares? <laughs> Damn, I guess you could say that you really. No, never mind. You bought it as a shell, not with the motor in it. Never yeah, mind. Yeah, I mean, I did buy the shell. No, I, I, I forgot. I, 
because Stumpy sold the swap out of it to yeah, what's his I mean, name. I built an entire car. Don't worry about that. Um, I rode around with the hood off for like two oh, months. Shit, I and forgot about that. And the damn cap came off. I haven't replaced it yet, but I do have to replace it. Is that the a cutie one? Box. Yeah, it's a cutie. And also the shifter cable bracket one of the bolts back. Oh, you got a hundred bucks in that. Yeah, I got a hundred bucks. In so that. yeah, sixty-one hundred bucks. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, you know. So I mean, if you, if you're like me and, um. This car literally was built off of your connections with people. I know you hate hearing yeah, it, but I mean, it yeah, was. This car was built off my connections. With like people, yeah, you do have connections with people, but you could do this like, for ten grand. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, if I didn't have a connections, you could. I mean, the drive shaft. Would well, that's cost with labor you, and everything. You no, know, yeah, I mean, but the drive shaft will cost you another hundred dollars more than what I spent on it, and the rear diff mount. So you spend seven grand, still seven grand. And maybe like an extra six because you got the transfer four hundred. Yeah, because I mean, the trans are like a thousand yeah, bucks. Trans are like a thousand bucks. And by the way, everybody needs an all wheel drive transfer since I got two. Yeah, of we got two right of them. <laughs> well, <ship>. wait, one. <laughs> well, technically one. Because, you know, we're going to be doing something else with the other one. Gang, gang. Whole lot of gang shit. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, I mean, anybody can do this shit, man. It's not, it's not hard. You know what I mean? You just have to. And I will say. People always like, oh, you got the Honda hookup. Like, no, nah, dude, I just find deals. Like, this motherfucker stays up till 3 o'clock in the morning on Marketplace. On Facebook, Marketplace find, trying to find a deal. Like, I'm trying to find a, a D15 for that blue car so I can sell So if you got a D15, hit us up. We need one. <laughs> <laughs> I just be trying to find deals. You know what I mean? Like, Imagine it being hard I, to find a single Stumpy, cam right now. We, me and Stumpy, be, we, just did, we didn't beg the dude. We, like, antagonized this dude to sell us his damn car until he sold us. Sold it to us. And then he, we got it. We brought it to the shop. Had it for, like, three days. Done. Huh? What? Oh yeah, it wouldn't run. I said you guys yeah. had it for like three days. Yeah, we had it. We literally picked it up and it wouldn't run. We brought it to the shop. I took the side plate off. It needed a t chain tensioner. Put a chain tensioner on it, and I drove it home. And I've been driving it, like for what the past what? Yeah, like three, a four months. Thousand dollar car pretty much led the way to this. Yeah. Like we're about to go pick up another RSX in here in a little bit. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. For a dumb deal. So. I might, I might just trade you mine for that nah, one. Nah, 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 hey, man. Nah, 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 you, oh, wow. I'm just going to part it out anyway. Should I get treated? Yeah. I just part these things out. This is how I make my money to afford to do payroll. dumb shit. <laughs> and payroll. Is I buy stupid-ass cars like these and part them out. Like, I bought that element, I'm going to part it out. Well, I'm parting it out right now. I have Stumpy's old Civic. I'm about to put a motor that's literally in the back of the Suburban in that shit today. I'm going to tune it and sell it. <clears throat> I mean, if you're not out here trying to damn hustle, like, you ain't, you can't complain about shit being expensive if you ain't out here trying to hustle to get the shit what you want. So, Honda-wise, is this your favorite Honda? This is my favorite Honda I've built so far. Besides Milkshake. Besides what? Milkshake is, like, the baller version of this car. Like it But front-wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, but front-wheel drive, like. But, yeah, I mean, I'm going to do a, little, a couple pulls on it, and we'll see what it does. Damn. Hopefully the drive shaft stays in it. Problem number three. Problem number three. <laughs> <laughs>
said it fell off at the top of fourth. I thought it did too. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, wait. I should have recorded the fucking dash. I don't know what the fuck to do. I guarantee you right now, you check the log, that fucking went way higher than 20 and 4. <laughs> shit that Phil puts in barrels instead of putting it in the toilets. <laughs> Alright, here you go. $6,000 worth of fun. That's the first time I've actually launched a car successfully. This, whole, smiling like this whole clutch slip thing, slipping thing is weird to me because I just don't slip clutches in front wheel drive. So I just preload it and I dump the clutch. But you have to like ride it out of this. So like, that's why it's like da 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 ah, ah, and then it's, yeah. you know. So that's what it's like to drive an Evo. Yeah, pretty much. Hit him with it. Damn, bro, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I was talking about, but what, all right. What, the outro? Yeah. All right. As always, guys, comment, like, share, subscribe. I hope this video helped all you guys out there that's, you know, y'all want to go all-wheel drive and you just want some direction. So it's pretty much what you can get for like 6000 bucks if you do it yourself. Now, yeah. if you bring it to somebody and, damn, I'm sure it's probably going to be like $4,000 on labor because there is some, like, modifications yeah. and shit that you got to do to the car. Welding and fabrication. And, yeah. yeah. But I'm sure for, like... 
10 to 11. Yeah, 10 to 11. You can replicate this entire car with somebody that's doing it if they don't fucking try to rape you because you know there's name brand parts probably like 20 grand yeah if you're gonna spend name grant uh, spend money on name brand parts you're gonna spend like 20 grand oh shit the second gear is still in the car too damn damn i'm good